Do yeah. you regard respect for human rights, respect for freedom of religion as basic Dutch values? Of course, within the boundaries of our law. And even in our constitution it says that... And you regard respect for the law as a basic Dutch value? Of course. Well, then, respect for, not only respect for the law, but also respect for the values, with uh, perhaps one um, exception. I believe that um, people whose sole aim is um, to, um, once again, kill everything we stand for, to change our rule of law into, for instance, a Sharia, an Islamic law, um, to put away our dem de democracy and get something else instead of it. For those people who also want to use violence in order to achieve this Islamo-fascistic goals, I believe that people who do that, they don't deserve the rights of the same um, constitution. Um, constitution. So that is a quite extraordinary statement you're making, and you've made it before. There are people in Dutch society, you're saying, who do not deserve the respect of the rule of law. They do not deserve no. to be treated with due no. process. According to you me, you are saying they are beyond the pale. Yes. Let me give you, perhaps, you allow me to give you one example. The Dutch Secret Service um, said a few years ago, but they are still saying it today, that in Holland there are a few hundred um, 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 terrorists, radical Islamists that are walking through the street. People like Mohammed Bouyeri who killed Theo van Gogh. But because... Um, With respect, he was, he was convicted after a trial, after due legal process. Yes. You are talking about people yes. who do not deserve the, the rights of the rule of law without going to a judge, you said recently, they should be arrested and expelled. Exactly. Without yes. going to a judge. But maybe you allow me to finish what I just tried to tell you. Now what I tried to tell you is that there are a few hundred people walking through the streets of Holland, not according to me, but according to the Dutch Secret Service, who, whose aim is to use violence sooner or later in order um, uh, to achieve their um, Islamic fascist goals. That is goals. a suspicion they have. A this suspicion not my the suspicion, may have. suspicion the authorities a suspicion. may have. Nothing and if, I, a suspicion. if I can choose um, between taking our chances and letting those people walk freely down the streets of Amsterdam or Rotterdam, or in a as a preventive measure to use, for instance, administrative detention, to arrest those people uh, by an administrative law, of course, it'll also be checked by a court, but not by uh, a penal code, not by a penal court, then I choose for the safety of the Dutch families. I choose for the fact that I don't want to take the risk that tomorrow in the metro of Rotterdam or in the streets of Amsterdam, one of these guys um, um, uh, puts off a bomb or some... I think I understand what you're saying. What you are describing is a Dutch Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's common sense. It's, it's not, a Dutch uh, Guantanamo no, Bay. Uh, by the way, I, I learned this the ad administrative detention when I visited my friends in Israel, uh, where they used it, uh, not only in uh, the Have you read the human rights reports about the way Israel uses and it's, administrative it's, it's detention? Very, it's very effective. Do and you think that thing, represents Dutch values? The, um, I would um, very much, uh, um, otherwise I wouldn't have proposed it in my own parliament. I believe that between, uh, the, the, if you have to choose between the um, safety of the Dutch families and the Dutch individuals, or granting some people who want to kill our democracy and granting them, uh, them the rights that other people get, I choose uh, for the former so, and not for the latter. So and I'm be, proud to say so. So to be clear, you're not fighting for a return to traditional Dutch values. You're actually trying to impose a whole no, new set no, of I Dutch believe, values. I believe this will, strengthen, this will strengthen our rule of law if we don't allow and if we are not so political correct that we let people misuse our constitution only in order to get rid of our constitution. And for that, you need to be strong, you need to be tough, and it will defend um, our tolerance and it will defend our rule of law.